Hey guys, well it looks like for those of us in Nebraska, winter's here. Snowed yesterday morning, snowed a little bit again this morning. So whether we get the boats back in the lake or not, I don't know, but I guess it'll give us more time for fishing. And that brings us to the stencils I talked about last week. All right, I picked these up at Lure Parts Online. I'll leave a link in the description so you can find them there. Uh, here's two styles. This is a cross style, and the other, I believe, is called Tiger. Now, they'll make eight or ten different styles of these, and but they're only the thin plastic like this. They're $1.99, uh, I think $1.79 if you buy five or more. If you're trying to do commercially, I want to paint lures commercially to sell to people, I'm not sure that's going to work. When you start to bend this a little, you'll start to get a little bit coming up here. How that's going to work is another factor. I paint to show you how I paint. I paint for me, I paint for the fish, and maybe a few buddies to get some lures from me. So if this isn't 100% perfect, I'm probably going to be able to live with this because it's going to give me a lot of different options on things I can do. Now, they sell this in two sizes, two and a half inch and three inch. And the two and a half and three inch matches up to square bills that they sell. Two and a half inch square bill. Let's not confuse. This is two and a half inches. It says this is not a 2.5 square bill. Here's a 1.5, and as you can see, they're pretty much the same size. So it's about the size of a 1.5. They call this two and a half inch, and they match it with their two and a half inch stencil. You can see there's a slot here for the bill. There's a small hole for the line tie, a small hole for your hook. And basically they're designed to line it up, match everything up. The instructions show you using a pair of bobby pins to hold the front and the back together and pull it a little bit and put the spray on it. So that's the way it shows to do it. Now the key to me is that's great if it works, but I'd like to fish with more than one bobby style. So can I use this with something else? Well, I bought this body style. I believe I bought these from Dinger. A little more of a deep diver, but does have kind of a flattish side to it. I thought that might work out. Of course, it's a totally different body style. So can I get this to match up with this? Is that going to be able to work out? Maybe. I don't know. I guess we try it. Here's a DT6. Again, totally different. Much thinner at the end. Are we going to be able to use something like this? I don't know. S-crank. My favorite is the S-crank, but boy, that's a big round lure. That one's probably going to be a little tough on this. Maybe it'll work. Here's a Spro's Little John. I've always liked this body style. A lot smaller and narrow tail end, whether the pattern's going to fit quite right on it, but it does have a real flat side. That should make it fairly simple because you can just lay this right on top and it should come across pretty good because you don't have to bend it. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to spend the next few weeks working with these stencils each week and trying a different body style every week and see how well they work. How well does this bend? Does this work bending it? Can I work it with this body style or that body style? Sometimes it may work, sometimes it may not. And I got the feeling it's going to take a little bit of practice. As you can see, Real clean, I've never used it. Have not tried it yet. I've decided I was going to wait the first time to try it, but it's going to be on camera for you guys. Now, the Spro's Little John. I happen to have one of those all painted up already. Got the base white on it anyway to get ready to paint it. And I thought with the flat side, that should be the easiest. So let's start out with an easy one and we'll work our way up to some of the more complicated ones over the next few weeks and see how many of these can we use with this stencil? Let's get over to the workbench and see how this rose does. All right, as you can see, we got a new system set up. I'm going to try this. I thought this might work better for using the stencils. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I hope you don't have static. I tell you that intro I just did. I use three different cameras and three different microphone systems. I kept getting terrible static. I've never had before. I don't know why, but we're going to try to work around it. If we don't have it here. All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go with the crawl pattern. I'm going to go pearlized copper and the transparent orange on the belly. So let me get a little 
transparent orange loaded up here. And this is my new, I should have called it orange, but this is my new sunrise yellow I used on my last one. So I guess I should have said sunrise yellow instead of orange. There we go, about halfway up on either side. It's good enough. Clear this out and we'll put on some copper. All right, as I said, we're going to use pearlized copper for the top. Sure you get up in that nose good. That run out of paint there. All right, we're gonna have a lot more yellow than we got copper, but you know what? I'm after the crawl pattern. I definitely don't look that bad either. All right. Now we're going to take the heat gun, we're going to dry this really good, and we're going to start with our first stencil. Alright guys, Createx Opaque Black is what we're going to use. I put it in helping hands. Now, the bill doesn't line up the way here it would, but I think we can still use that. And I'm just going to lay it right across like that. Maybe not perfect on there, but I think we can get pretty much so I get the same thing. And again, the body style is a little different, but I think I can lay it just like that. I can see it's picking up a little here. So we'll see what that does. I put that pressure down to about 25 instead of 40, so there we go. A little farther up in the front than you'd normally have. Probably works good on that side. Let's kind of wipe that off a little bit. All right, now let's flip him over. And now we're going to come this way. And again, I think we can use that. We're hitting a little bit on the helping hand, but I can't help that, I guess. Just want to try to hold that down a little. See what we got. There we go. It isn't going to be perfect, especially for different styles of lures. It isn't going to fit in there exactly right. But you know what? It doesn't do that bad of a job. I think we practice more with it, how we want it to set. Tell you what, let's get a set of eyes and a top coat, and we'll see what we have for our first effort. Well, there we go, guys. There is our new stencil. Using it on that Spro's Little John Blank. You know, it's a little big on there, but it's really not that bad. And we have a lot more stencils to use over the next few weeks that maybe we can find one that would work a little bit better on this style of blank. We're going to keep doing this each week for a while, trying them out, seeing how they work. Thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.